Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to store and retrieve a file using Amazon S3. Let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the console and uh, in this video we will see how can we can store the files in the cloud using Amazon simple storage solution. Amazon S3. We will use Amazon S3 which will enable you to store the data. Uh, data is also referred to as the objects in at massive scale. Let's use uh, how to create an Amazon S3 bucket, upload a file and retrieve the file and then delete the file. So under services, you can type in S3. Oh my, it's a bit slow today. Let me just pause the video and come back. First part would be to enter the Amazon S3 console and then create a bucket. I run Amazon AWS S3 lab region. You can select any region as you want. Let me select Asia Pacific. If you have existing existing bucket, you can copy the objects here. And if you want to use default settings, click on create, but it's good to always have a look. Amazon S3 lab. Uh, sir, sure. It would. Okay. Uh, you can enable these versioning, logging, and the tags, object level logging, default encryption, some of the object settings, CloudWatch later as well. But if you want to do it on the go, you can do it from here. Click on next. Block all public access. If you will enable the public access, then anybody can access this bucket if he knows the name, he or she knows the name. So you should block all public access and then enable access after on click on next view the seconds that you have create a bucket so amazon s3 console as in itself is available on the global scale because if you would s3 does not require any region selection but if you would go into any other service it will give you an option like vpc ec2 your rds databases your uh, cloud watch alarms but remember we created a bucket and we created the region as Asia Pacific. So if you will click on this bucket, go into the properties and then here you see all the options that you were getting while creating the bucket. You can also enable here. So overview. Now if you want to create a folder inside this bucket, you can have it like this. Hold one, save, use the existing bucket settings, folder one, click on the folder one, there is nothing in here, click on upload, add files, and you can go to any file or folder that you have, and then you can select anything like I'm going to do with this. You can click on upload here. Properties permissions can be picked up from the bucket itself. Click on upload. It'll take some time. It will be uploaded. As you can see, the data is uploaded. So if you will click on it, if you want to open it, just click on open. You'll see discuss cloud computing. If you want to see properties, you can see the properties here. If you want to enable permissions on the object level, you can do it from here. Select from. You can do it from here. And if you want to download it, to copy the path, path is copied. You can uh, enter this into any database, any settings that you want. You want to download it. Click on download. If you want to See, this is what it does. So this was the simple the briefing I wanted you guys to have about the Amazon S3. We'll cover more of the storage in the coming videos. As of now, it's a good start to have this video today. And if you would want to delete it, go to Amazon S3. Select this, click on delete. Type the name of the bucket. I'll just copy it. 
you can confirm the bucket is gone and the contents are gone so this was the short and sweet video for you guys to have something to know about amazon s3 i'll make some more videos regarding the storage topics till next time have a great day ahead and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please do not forget to mention in the comment section thank you for all your support till date have a good day ahead bye bye